What's up campers, glampers, crampers, and overlanders? Today we are at Guahomey County Park in Oceanside, California. Today we're gonna be talking poop. So when I tell a lot of uh, people that I go camping or like dispersed camping uh, where there's no amenities, like today we're at a developed campsite, so we're not gonna be using this, but I wanted to bring it along to show everybody. Um, there's bathrooms, there's flush bathrooms. Um, some of them have, some of like state parks have uh, vault bathrooms where your poop just falls into a big septic tank and you can look down and see the poop which freaks me out so sometimes i will use this even when there are um those septic bathrooms um and especially we did this we started camping a lot um when covid happened and just like when it when the world was like freaking out for a while there like nobody really knew like what was safe and we didn't know if it would spread by touch like we didn't really want to be going in the bathrooms so this is one of our self-containing like along with the easy sink to wash our hands this is one of the things that we started adapting for going to the bathroom number one and number two and we keep everything that we use we use for the system in this. this is just a one of those what five gallon buckets from lowe's or home depot wherever you have this is a pretty cheap um setup for if you want to have the setup if you're going dispersed camping camping on blm land National Forest Camping, always definitely be responsible and pack out everything that you can um, and or everything that you use, you know, what is it? Take take only photos, leave only footsteps, so do that and uh, you should be good. But this is what we use when we're uh, dispersed camping and there is no bathroom available. Um, so in this bucket we have our poop set up. Uh, first thing we have, it's all in this bag too, so it's not just floating around in there. We have a shovel for if we don't use this and you know traditionally you dig a hole you make sure it's what six plus inches deep i usually try to go for like eight to ten you know you do your business in there you wipe you take your toilet paper with you even the biodegradable stuff is like i i mean people do it i would not recommend take all your crap with you leave only your crap you can leave your crap in the hole and bury it. Don't be pooping like, you know, close to a river, close to a campsite, close to a trail. Always look at your local regulations for how far you need to be from water, how far you need to be from a campsite, a walkway, a road. If you are gonna digging a, dig, digging a cat hole and like leaving your poop, but taking your toilet paper wipes or whatever with you. But um, this, we use uh, trash roo, so we take everything out with us. So what we do is we have this bag in here and we keep all of our poop stuff. So first and foremost, we have biodegradable um, wipes that we just got off Amazon. I'll link all this stuff in the description. Um, like I said, we do pack out a lot, but I just got the biodegradable stuff because sometimes if we are to develop campground and we throw this in the trash bag, we'd also like to use, you know, sustainable stuff as much as we can, you know, it's in a plastic bag, plastic, double plastic bag, who knows how much it really does. But we got wipes. Like I said, we had the collapsible shovel if we do just end up doing a cat hole. We got Clorox wipes. Um, they aren't biodegradable, but cleanliness is key, you know. So we do wipe down the seat and the bucket and all the stuff between um, between uh, camp tri camping trips. And then what we also have in here is, are these compostable bags. I think these ones are 30-gallon compostable bags. And then we have eco gels. These are like emergency kit eco gels. What this really does is if you're using it uh, to go number one and it fills with water, it turns that into like this like jelly or this jello so it's not liquid. So if you are having to carry it out, putting it, you know, hopefully you have like a trash roo or something, putting it on top of your car, the liquid is less likely to leak out after you tie the bags and put it in all of your, you know, contained um, containers. And then we have toilet paper in here which is you guys, oh, we don't have it. Oh, we have to add some, but we usually will just use wipes and stuff. And then we also have this bio gel that's from REI too. It's the same as these eco gels, but what I do like about these eco gels is, <laughs> this is gonna sound gross. They're like lemon scented. And to me, it smells like, uh, like Captain Crunch <laughs> after you pee inside of this thing. And so it doesn't just smell like pee. Like if you're using it, you know, during the day um, and there's, you know, a couple, uses in there this will keep it smelling lemony fresh i think it smells like captain crunch gross i know but it's better than smelling just like rancid pee or number two like in there so what we usually do is we will line this bucket right so this is clean because we wipe everything down with clorox between camping trips and we're not using it this camping trip so we have this biodegradable, this biodegradable bucket five gallon bucket we'll take one of these uh biodegradable bags 
And sometimes we will put a regular black bag in here and then put one of these. Let me just show you that setup. All right, so we're back. So we usually take one of these smaller black garbage bags and first line it with this guy. In there like that. Then line it with one of the compostable ones. I know it's like defeats the point of it being compostable, but we try to do a little, little bit that we can here and there. So line it with these, with one of these. So this is what you got going on in there. And then we take one of these camping toilet seats that fit over this five gallon bucket. And it is a toilet seat. So it works like that. And what we'll do is we'll take one of these eco things, drop it in here. And these are good for about a gallon of liquid so we'll open this up toss that in there and just keep that in there so it's ready to go when someone wants to use it then once you're ready um you pop it open you know we try to change it every you know few uses i'll usually tie this bag and then tie the black bag so it's like double sealed and then we'll throw it in our trash or in our trash setup or like i said if we're at established campground we'll toss it in like the actual dumpster garbage disposal um, like I said, even though these are biodegradable, I've seen people do, they do bury these. They'll dig a hole and bury these if they're dispersed camping. I don't recommend it. Um, let's try to keep, you know, our outdoors clean as possible because if everybody did that, like, these are biodegradable, but I mean, it's not going to biodegrade in like a day. It's going to be out there for a while and animals will probably dig it up and then, you know, all that stuff was going on. So we'll put all of our toiletries, trash, toilet paper wipes in here, bag these two up and take it out with us. Um, and that's basically our setup. And like I said, we keep all this stuff in a regular kind of tote bag and then we put it stored inside there. So pack all this away. Boom, boom. That black bag, a shovel. This will be ready for next time. I'll keep that in the bottom there. Put that in there. And then anything else you want to keep in there. Oops, forgot our wipes, our cloth wipes and our regular wipes. We'll put this in here. And that's how we'll store it. And then so, you know, if it's the daytime, like I honestly like just like, if we're dispersed camping and there's nobody around, putting that somewhere with like a good view and then just like waking up in the morning, doing your business around the car, or around the side of the car where like there's like a beautiful view, you know, you're camping with family, friends, we all close here. Um, if you're there in your relationship with your friends, significant other, um, that's how we usually do. But if not, or if it's during the daytime or there are people around or you're next to a hiking trail, we got one of these um, portable, oh, there goes the, the stakes, portable pop-up pods, which are like um, basically like single person tents they can use for changing or so we'll, these deploy like this, you just open up our zipper rip, so that's why we kind of tie it closed. These pop up like this. They fold kind of like the, uh, the collectors. Where is it? There's a door zipper in there. And then we'll throw this guy. inside there and then I'll show you on the inside what we ended up doing so this is a welcome to uh, crib style camping bathroom it's not staked down so it's moving but we ended up just buying a little basket to put here so that's where we keep our toilet paper and our wipes so they're off the ground because this does not have a floor as you can see one second um, some shower tents do come with a floor. This one doesn't. So that's why we keep the toilet paper up there. Um, so yeah, that's how we do our business when we're dispersed camping. Like I said, sometimes even if the bathrooms are disgusting at campgrounds, I'd rather be messing around with germs of people I know and my own than like strangers germs, especially during this crazy time of COVID. So uh, yeah, that's our bathroom setup for dispersed camping and sometimes regular camping so guys check it out i'll put the links to all this stuff in the description um if you have any other ideas like those compostable 
toilets that have like their own contained system. I know they use them in Australia, I've seen. I haven't really checked them out, but if you have any other ideas, shoot in the comments. I'd love to interact with you guys and see some of your ideas. So thank you guys for watching Camthropology. See you next time.